Hotel Has Beens. And it's based on a very popular YouTube channel called Has Been Bosses or Boss. Based on a famous YouTube channel, cartoon animation, and Prime got it. I watch it and I am a huge supporter of GBTQ and the fight against child abuse, child abuse. And let me tell you, this show shows and demonstrates exactly how LGBTQ are abused and neglected in this world society previously, maybe. Because obviously this is based on LGBTQ gay rights. Marriage was equal. Was. And what I love about this show is that it's not, it, it is sexual, but there's so much more about abuse representation. Husbands demonstrates the demonic, not democracy, but demonic representation that showbiz has, uh, like Dan Schneider from Nickelodeon, which I, I, I know that there's this uh, documentary series looking into the lens of how Dan Schneider was and how w represents the showbiz. He represents those kids that have signed deals to like Dan Schneider. And I'm using Dan Schneider as representation because my generation remembers the show iCarly Zoe 101, um, Victorious. And let me tell you, I would not be surprised if one of those kids that are adults today will watch the show, um, Hotel Hasbins and go, that represents me. That character, this character represents me. And I love the song Poison. Or you're feeding me poison. It's such a beautiful song to abuse and how abuse feels. Like, you know, my dad would uh, be abusive and toxic, and or like those people, this one nurse that abused me that v a very viciously um told me and demonstrated to me that lesbians and gays homos that she that's how she remember she reflected them they, these homos are going to go straight to hell these are sinners going straight to hell and let me tell you this also coming from someone who's L, who's supportive of the lgtq i can honestly say this show how hotel has been has such a beautiful representation of abuse from both lens, from the show to, uh, you know, the angels and their look on LGDQ. I mean, angels, I'm talking about the religious, very, uh, circumstance to the T. They see black and white, which actually, that's what the angels look like. They have black and white, so they represent that format of how homophobic and transphobic look at it. They look at the LGBTQ as the black, the evil side, versus the white, which is the angel side and the religious side and everyone's straight there's no such thing as lgdq it's all demonic it's all against god and against religion i am telling you that's what this show represents it gives a beautiful lens at how lgbtq has been ashamed and de demonetized demonically from the homophobic and transphobic people in our government in our democracy of politics 
um, in our everyday lives and religion. That's why the angels that are gonna that in this battle come down and de- de- kill all the sinners, and that's why they they represent black and white these uh, sin eaters or these um, angel dusters come down and kill them. They look black and white because that's what homophobic and transphobic religious people and politics politically look at the LGBTQ. They look at it black and white. Plain and simple. There's no rainbows in the forest. There's no gays getting married. There's no uh, my child gender swapping. There's no my child believes that he or she is gay is the opposite gender. That's why they that these angels looked demonic and black and white because they represent those people that are homophobic and transphobic in today's politics and religious believers today. And I love that because that's what this one nurse, uh, I think I'm going to call her Debbie. I think that's actually her name. (laughs) But uh, she saw my uncles, my uncles who are proud HRC uh, representers and uh, proud HRC Human Rights Committee uh, 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 officers or uh, officials represent or look. The, I mean, I'm telling you, I love the Hotel Has Been Host show, show. And I remember watching um, Has Been Bosses or Ho- Hell of a Boss or Hell of Bosses, which is an LV- LGBTQ look at... Um, I mean, you gotta watch it. It's actually based on... It's surprisingly based on a YouTube account. I'm gonna have to look it up. Has a beautiful representation of abuse. Both look at the showbiz and look at the... uh, The... In today's politics. There's so much beauty in detail... In abuse and LGBTQ positive representative wise, you know when we're talking about abuse, I'm talking about the the showbiz show that um, one of the characters who pr- I praise. I love this song, Poison. It's all of us people who have been abused, we who have been verbally abused, and just been fed all these lies, fat been eating up all these talks from people like me I was abused and I got pulled and the nurse who again was a homophobic transphobic religious practice person fed me poisonous lies about the LGBTQ so badly that I was scared that my uncles who are proud human rights committees representers, officials, I was scared that that sh- this show, you have to get, I have to give a must watch. And it gives a beautiful lens. And I, you have to really think about how LGBTQ feels, how people feel in today's showbiz. It gives a beautiful lens of abuse from both perspectives of showbiz and abuse from the religious people who are homophobic transphobic because they do not believe strongly and against lesbians and gays homos these homos are going to go straight to hell these are sinners going straight to hell and let the girl abby or agatha or aggie she is a beautiful character that I adore. 
Um, she even sings this song more than anything in Reprise, which is a beautiful song, by the way, I have to say. More Than Anything is just this heartwarming song that is about love and care. And um, and it gives a beautiful lens also because Charlie, considering Charlie's angels, um, Lucifer, who um, is Charlie's dad, I think that's... I'm trying to remember from a religious per- perspective because I know that Lucifer and Eden are... The apple of Eden... You know, the the one where you take the point, the story, religious story, the villain that is hinted is the girl that chose the angel side. Whereas Lucifer ate the evil apple, the poisonous apple, and went down the darker path. Or in LGBTQ's representation, resisted the religious, homophobic, transphobic lies and bullshit female representation wise because there is a strong struggle that Charlie faces with trying to make her own business with trying to make her own worth ethics that people like my mom struggled she was in a very there were some toxic worth ethics that happened when she was working and it's sad and so Charlie meeting with the house of angels the strong angels that saw black and white whereas that was like wait a minute let's see this you have to watch the show by the way so if I'm spoiling anything go watch the show Hotel Husbands it's a beautiful beautiful show I love it I love the show. I love all the songs. And I am not a musical person. I am not. I am not. I watch this because basically it was Valentine's Day. Love was in the air. My heart was broken. I recently got dumped. I give it like a straight 9 out of 10 or 10 out of 10 because there is so much love and acceptance in the story.